K-Man versus Harlock. Harlock, our resident Cheek player. Uh -huh. uh, and K-Man, Falcon player from what part of Tennessee? Um, Knoxville. Knoxville. He, uh, is second in our region. Was first okay, for a long, long time. Yeah. Like he, he held his reign for years. Yeah. This recently got replaced by uh, Envoy here recently. Oh! And this is what I'm kind of concerned about. Harlock, you know, being a Sheik player, I Why do... would he go this match? Uh, I don't know. I feel Sheik does really good against Falcon, so I don't know why. I know he had uh, some success against Fatality by going Marth, but, you know, these every Falcon plays different, right? Every player. Let me put it this way. Um, I'm actually pretty good friends with Griffin too. Yes. And whenever I look at K-Man's Falcon and his, they are literally polar opposites and good in their yeah. own rights. It's like, you know, Fatality's more of the aggressive player, and K-Man is more of the I'm gonna stand back, see what you're doing kind of player, and well, camp if I have a percent lead and make you come to me yeah. and whip punish you. All right, on the ledge, uh, K-Man's gonna choose a regular ledge get up option. And he's going to be mixing up these options on the ledge. Uh, I'd like to see Paul go for maybe a ledge trump to pressure him to make a decision a bit faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, one thing you will see when watching K-Man is his ledge pressure is is amazing. Yes. Especially whenever it comes to trapping and uh, reacting to what you're going to do. He can cover pretty much all points. Uh, he wanted to grab him. Yeah. But Harlock, despite the explosive opening, keeping this a bit close. Uh, K-Man's definitely not out of the woods with Marth. Can definitely box out Falcon and get a lot of damage considering he's a uh, fast faller. Yeah, it's just gonna be really uh, hard to react to his burst option. That's the yeah. number one thing he's gonna be wary of, yeah. obviously. Um, oh, wait. Okay. He keeps getting uh, Harlock to the ledge, but he doesn't seem to be being able to seal it. But I think that's just because Harlock's uh, DI has been really, really good up to this point. Barely and Ooh, good DI, good DI. See, see what I'm saying? He's, he's surviving all these setups. Ooh, really good mix up from Harlock. Just baiting it out. Uh, he's gonna do an action so he can get up his side. That, that over commitment. Okay, there we go. Grab box too big. <laughs> Grab box too big. Okay, fourth though. Yeah, they keep on, they both uh, keep ledge, uh, putting each other at the ledge, but they're not really capitalizing like they, I feel like yeah. they could. Yeah, I'd like to see him go for a bit more uh, options that will help close up the stock button than just damage. Yeah. Here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I see like how... But this is Rage. Oh, this Marth, I guarantee you, they could be in the middle of the stage. He gets that tipper uh, forward smash, it's over. He gets it wrong. Yeah, just Spanish, and this should be it. Oh, he's not going to do the, yeah. the DI, DI mix up, yeah. and he's going to get the 50 50. Yep, got so. that DI mix up. He, he's been doing that a lot here recently. Have you seen the BP Smash dudes? Yeah, yep, 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 yeah. yep. Everybody, everybody's watching BP Smash dudes. They're getting all that knowledge. Yeah. So, um, I like to see Harlock go back to Sheik. I think that match was really good for him. I think his neutral is really strong with Sheik. And uh, I think Harrison, but if he wants to stick to the Marth, it's not a bad choice, but I don't. I think you have to at least try to Sheik. Out well, once, right? to be fair, honestly, I don't think this is horrible because K Man does. We do have a very, very good Sheik. It's our number one at the moment, Envoy. Envoy. Oh, so, yeah, so I remember. He, so he, he, play, he knows that matchup extremely well yeah. from playing Envoy. Oh, yeah, did and pretty he good rarely, in the final round, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fifth, I remember. Yeah, he lost to Saj, but it was a very, very close yeah. side. So let's uh, let's see what Harlock's wanting to do. He's already at the ledge, which is already bad, but he just reversed it just like that. One thing that I will say is in Harlick's uh, favor right now is his impeccable DI to get out of these combos. Falcon led, uh, led roll deceptively good, I think. It's pretty fast, it goes pretty far. Uh, you kind of have to call it out to really do anything about it. Yeah. Like, you have to know that he's going for it. Yeah. You can't really react. It's hard. Because you try to, like, if you're just a little bit off, guess what? You're getting jabbed. Yeah. So. yeah, but Harlock's starting up really strong in this game, too. Uh, let's see if he can close out this stock by the ledge. Ooh, he was trying to bait out the roll option for K-Man there. Ooh, okay, that was good. The uh, Tomahawk jab. He didn't get much out of it, though, but he still gets out of the knee setup. Yeah, I think K-Man flubbed that a bit, right? I think he didn't mean to double jump that. Yeah, I mean, Marth, Marth has a good weight to combo, but if you're not used to that weight, you can still drop your setups. And like I said, there's not many many sword like, like Marth users that we know of. Okay, there we go. That was really, really good spacing. The fact that he actually outspaces with punish back. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a 50 50. When you're falling below your opponent, uh, yeah, when you're falling below your opponent like that, it's pretty much a 50 50 because all they can really do at that scenario is like air dodge or throw out an attack. But if you just space yourself right, like K Man did, he can just close out the sock. So yeah. good stuff from him, especially on like a sword character like Mark. 
Yeah, he definitely seems to understand what uh, what Marth's want to do. It's really hard to. Oh gosh, K Man! Oh please, don't fake, don't do it, don't do it to him, please. Okay, I'm sorry. I I, I broke for a minute. Oh, that was about to be gross. It just looked like Harlock didn't really have a good answer to get out of the corner. I think that's what cost him to set. He has tried to do a lot of rolls, a lot of shields, and uh, 